So breaking news, big news. Miami defensive tackle Daryl Jackson's hitting the transfer portal. It's a big one. David, just your initial thoughts on this one. It's certainly disappointing from a Miami standpoint. Yeah, tough loss. Uh, you know, I was first made aware of this rumor, I guess, that it might happen um, the, you know, before the pit game. So what I was told was, you know, homesickness was the reason uh, that Daryl might might want to explore options elsewhere. Um, you know, it's tough. I think he's an NFL caliber player. Um, I think he has that body type that Mario Cristobal wants on the line of scrimmage. And, uh, you know, now Miami's got to go get a defensive tackle in the portal. I've got this. Yeah, this is pretty, pretty big news. Obviously, uh, Daryl Jackson. I mean, I remember hearing about the freaky measurables when he kind of came in. Can't remember them off the top of my head, but it seems like someone that they believe is going to pop off at the NFL combine. They're obviously very excited about adding him. And uh, yeah, this is, uh, you know, we were mentioning earlier about kind of moving it along and all that stuff. But I do think that this is that this is obviously a, a foundational piece of what they hope to be the future of their defense, especially in 2023. Um, Daryl Jackson, you know, played a ton of snaps for them. And, uh, you know, this is obviously uh, disappointing. I don't think it was completely unexpected, you know, in terms of David, like you said, mentioning that, you know, obviously caught whiff of this um, uh, a little while ago. But I think we hoped it was a situation that could be smoothed over. Uh, Daryl Jackson here will hit the portal and we'll see what happens from there. Yeah, I think it's a big loss for Miami in terms of not just for their defense, but again, with what they're trying to build with their culture. And you brought him in a year ago, starts all 12 games. It's a guy that started games for you. Uh, only th one of three defensive players to do that this season. And again, it's, it's he just kind of represents the identity of what the staff wanted. I remember going into that pit game, I asked defensive coordinator Kevin Steele about him and his future. And, he, and like David mentioned, you know, they definitely viewed him as an NFL guy, a guy that actually still did mention about continuous career at Miami did throw that in there, but obviously not going to happen moving forward. Just real quick, just importance of getting a defensive tackle. Now that uh, Daryl Jackson's hitting the transfer portal, how big is that position that Miami tries to get that thing filled? Yeah, I think it becomes a big priority now. And I think you got to find a guy that can like, one thing I liked about Daryl is he fit well playing next to Leonard Taylor. You know, they're, they're two different types of D tackles, and I think they were good good partners uh, on the interior there. Yeah, got this is what the transfer portal's for. Uh, you know, obviously you lose a player, you got to fill that spot. Uh, teams all around the country are losing good players today. Uh, Miami obviously put victim to it now, so just got to try to find a body now. Interested to see what the pivot is and uh, what where Miami goes from here.